Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'd like to talk to you today about the life and times of Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of people have questions about him and, and uh, why he did some of the things that he did during the time of his ministry here on earth. I'm going to start with the first thing he did when he began his public ministry. He was about 30 years old and uh, Jesus Christ came to John the Baptist who was baptizing people in the Jordan River people who had um, come to the place to admit they were sinners and had asked God to forgive them and then they were being baptized as a public testimony of their repentance from sin and their faith in God and de determination with God's help to live a different life so Jesus Christ comes and when he comes walking up to John the Baptist in uh, the Jordan River uh, John the Baptist reacts to that and I wanted to read read a little bit about that to you. It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee, actually from Nazareth in the Galilee region, to John at the Jordan River to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I have need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then John the Baptist allowed him. Then Jesus, when he had been baptized, came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him, and suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This is an amazing scene, this scene. Before Jesus Christ came to be baptized, he had already made a decision to die to himself. What I mean by that is he no longer was living and never did really just live for himself. John the Baptist was a man who had surrendered his life also to serve God. But Jesus Christ had actually come to a place where he had cast off the visible appearance of his glory. He had humbled himself. He had determined to come and be willing to die and take the punishment for our sin. So why in the world was Jesus Christ baptized? Jesus Christ was not baptized to wash away his sin because Jesus Christ has never committed any sin and never will. Second, Jesus Christ was not baptized in order to become a Christian, like some would think, because Jesus Christ is already Christ. Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, the Anointed One. And uh, so Jesus was not baptized in order to become a Christian or for his sin to be washed away. Why in the world was he baptized? Well, before anyone could serve God, in public as a priest he had to demonstrate that he was clean from sin or that his sin was at least atoned for covered all the other priests uh, went to the temple they offered a sacrifice and the blood sacrifice was offered at the altar and that was a temporary covering for the sin but when Jesus came John said you don't have any sin. I'm not even. I'm not even worthy to tie your shoes, much less to uh, baptize you. And so, John John the Baptist knew that Jesus had never committed any sin. So why was Jesus baptized? He was G baptized in order to fulfill the Old Testament scripture. Before any priest could serve God, he demonstrated publicly that he was clean. The Hebrew word for baptism, the baptistry, is tefillah, means clean immersion. So Jesus was already clean. He had no sin when he was baptized. He went into the baptism pool, into the river rather, and he went in clean. And when he came up out of it, his father from heaven spoke and he said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. In other words, there's no sin on him. God would never be pleased with a sinner. Second, the Holy Spirit of God came and descended upon Jesus Christ. And so we see at the time of Jesus' baptism, God the Father speaking, 
God the Son being baptized and God the Holy Spirit coming upon the Son. Jesus came to give his life for you and for me. He was demonstrating he's fit to do that for us. Do you know him? Have you trusted in him? If not, you need to do so and soon. I'm Rick Patterson. I'm the pastor here. And God bless you. We hope you have a great day. Bye.